Hello everyone, it is me, Gojira from Productions, and today we're going to be discussing about the drama of EGM. With the drama consisting of him stealing art and not giving credit and scamming people when he sells his custom figures. So without for any further ado, let's get into this. So if you don't know who EGM is, he's a Xamarin anime on YouTube, with most of his, his videos being about Godzilla, and also makes custom figures. We'll get into that later. So most of the drama started with people noticing that most of his custom figures look similar to another person who does custom figures, called Spacezilla Killa. And he, he started to notice of EGM's custom looking very similar and looks like the exact same thing. And he doesn't give give any credit to the person and claims that he came up with the custom figure with the custom figure idea. It wasn't just Spacezilla Killa, who would also copy other people's customs and some fan art and STILL doesn't give any credit to the original person. And you want to know something else? He doesn't care. Don't believe me? Well, here's some proof. There was a DM conversation between EGM and Spacezilla Killer of him telling EGM to stop copying people's work and to give them credit. And EGM is basically saying that he just doesn't care. And what makes it even worse is that he's selling his custom, his custom figures so, he's basically making money off of other people, people's work. And another thing I'd like to mention about EGM is that he stole someone's video. Which video may be asking? Well, he stole Dino Mania's video on Legendary Godzilla vs Shin Godzilla. And you know what he did with, with it? He reused the exact audio and just put it in his own stop motion style. He basically just copied the exact same video and just put it and is just make it a stop motion. Which is EGM is basically being lazy here, right? He's just he, he's just basically just reusing other people's videos and taking all the credit. Again, not crediting the, the person who made the video. He he's claiming it as his own even though it was made by another person. Now I I know some of you are going to mention the, the apology he made on his Instagram post. But it's not a really good apology to do because he's... Ba I mean, he should at least do like a video on it. If that was the case, then... I mean, that would, that would be much better. But on the Instagram story, I mean, not that many people are going to see it. And Instagram stories are very limited. And he's basically trying to like move on from it like really quickly. And... He's basically, he's just trying to like get everything out of the way as, as possible, and I mean that's not good, so it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like, like a, a true apology. Now in conclusion, I just want to say that this is honestly very, I'm honestly just very mad at EGM right now because I've been watching this guy for like a while, like. Back when I only had like a couple videos and only had the, like a little amount of subscribers. And I mean, yeah, his old stop motions weren't as good as today's, but you know, at least he wasn't being like, scummy or or try or copy on his work. He he was just, you know, he just wanted to like try and make videos on YouTube. But now, 
I just, he's just, all he does is copies other people's work, doesn't give credit, and just, and just being just a jerk to every, to people. And it's kind of sad because EGM is kind of like the, is kind of the reason why I, I want to like start putting my stop motion videos on YouTube. Like he's kind of like, he's kind of reason why I wanted like, he's kind of reason why I started like making this channel, like make posting all these stop motion videos on youtube and it's honestly just sad to see him end up like this getting into all sorts of drama and just stealing other people's work 